Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Marcus Murray and I'm here with my lovely wife, Shira Murray. And we are going to be talking about five things you can't afford not to do. Yes. In 2019. Stay with us. Number one, you can't afford not to pay off your debt. This must be one of your top priorities because as soon as you're done paying off that MasterCard, that Visa card, those student loan debts, that car loan, you can begin to focus on the things that are truly important to you. So being debt free doesn't mean that you no longer have any bills, but what it does is it provides flexibility for you and your lifestyle. You might be able to save for that dream vacation. You may be able to invest in that business that you've always wanted to. You may be able to begin to put away for your kids' college funds. I mean, there's so many things that paying off your debt will free you up to do. Number two, you cannot afford to not contribute to your retirement. Contrary to popular guru's recommendations to stop saving for retirement so that you can pay off debt, we think that it is important that you consider contributing to your retirement. So one thing that you don't hear a lot of gurus talk about is the time cost of money. And when you delay saving for retirement to do other things such as pay off debt, when you finally get around to saving for retirement, you have to compensate for all the time that you lost, which means you actually have to save much more than you would have had to save had you started earlier. So every little thing counts. So even if it's just a small amount, we recommend that at minimum you contribute to your employer's match. In the long haul, saving something is better than saving nothing. So consider this when you're planning for 2019. Number three, a home mortgage is likely going to be your largest expense in retirement. So with that said, it would be awesome for you to be able to go into your retirement years without a mortgage that you have to pay. On the flip side of that, if you do have a mortgage in retirement, a mortgage is fixed. Likely when you're retired, your income is fixed and so you'll be able to make those adjustments. So in 2019, if you're not purchasing a home, one thing that you wanna do is get it on your radar. Start thinking about it, educating yourself, maybe saving Saving some money for that down payment so we know that depending on where you live the prices may be really expensive but still this is something that you want to think about and you want to get on your radar a few years ago I worked for a nonprofit and we worked with low-income families one of the things that we did was we helped families to sign up for food assistance and during my employment there I actually worked with a lot of seniors so one of the things that I noticed was that the seniors that were unable to meet their food bill and other obligations were the seniors that still had rent or they were still paying mortgage. So this is something that we recommend that you knock out while you're young if you can. So, so we recommend that you start thinking about home ownership if you're not currently in a home. Number four, life insurance. This is especially important if you have dependents such as children or a wife. The last thing you wanna do is leave behind a burden for your family. And you don't want to leave behind finances or bills or different things that you weren't able to take care of. Yes, you certainly want to think about life insurance. You can move from being a burden to being a blessing to your family because this is a vehicle that many people use to transfer wealth. So certainly think about life insurance in 2019 if this is not something that you currently have. As you get older, you will actually need less life insurance because you will start to accumulate assets and your net worth will grow. Some of of the responsibilities that you had as a younger adult you will no longer have hopefully your children will grow up and leave the nest and so you won't have that extra expense so consider getting it now especially if you have those who are depending on you and just know that it doesn't have to be a bill that you carry for a lifetime yeah, Shire, you know, a, a lot of times in our culture, we, we think of life insurance as a speaking to existence or, right. you know, something to that effect. But, you know, it, it's not really about that. It's about just preparing yourself. Unfortunately, we're all going to have to leave at some point right. and you want to make the transition as easy as possible on your loved ones. Number five, nurture your relationship. So as you can see, this particular one is not about money because my greatest asset is not what I have in the bank account, but it's the relationships. 
the friendships that I have. And so we want to make sure that in 2019 that we are nurturing those, that we're nurturing our families and we're spending time with the ones who matter the most. Yes, yeah, Shire, because I mean, as we stated when talking about life insurance, you know, life is short. So we want to make sure that we're spending the time we have with those we love the most. So I think that's uh, that's awesome. Yes, yeah, Shire, so let's recap the five things you can't afford not to do in 2019. Number one, pay off debt. Number two, contribute to retirement. Number three, pursue and plan for home ownership. Number four, get life insurance. And number five, spend time nurturing relationships. Man, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Engage in the comments below. Let us know your thoughts on this video, your thoughts, if, there, if there's anything else that you can't afford not to do in 2019. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and to like this video. For Marcus Murray, this is my lovely wife. Shira Murray. And we are black. Married and debt free. Peace.